What about a cold front? You ready for that? Yes, I want it to just feel like Christmas. <laughs> We're working on it. We're okay. working on it. Come on, Carly. Okay, do your thing. so we've got a cold front coming through Tuesday night. Rain is not going to be the main thing to focus on with this front for us here in South Texas. It really doesn't look like it's going to bring us too much rain, but we may see some spotty showers, especially along the coast Wednesday morning. Now, the strongest wind is actually going to be ahead of the front. So that's going to be Tuesday. Winds will be sustained out of the south 15 to 25 miles per hour. I did lower the gust a little bit but it does look like we'll get some 35 mile per hour gusts, especially along the coast. So this is going to be nine o'clock on Monday. We start to see tonight our winds picking up with gusts around 25 miles per hour. Our onshore flow is increasing. We'll likely see some small craft advisories issued for tonight and especially tomorrow and tomorrow night. So by Tuesday morning, we're starting to see those 30 mile per hour wind speeds anywhere between Alice, Robstown, Ingleside and Port Aransas. Winds are going to be picking up and they're going to stay rather gusty throughout the day on Tuesday, especially along the coast. This is where we start to see that risk of 35 mile per hour winds. Lighter winds actually as the front is moving through. So seven o'clock Tuesday evening, we start to see the front trying to influence areas to the north and northwest. This front is going to slowly move through the coastal bend and we will see Wednesday after midnight. It looks like the front will move through Corpus Christi uh, winds briefly weaken as the front moves through. We may see a brief westerly wind and then northerly winds take over still rather breezy heading into Wednesday morning. We're still talking 25 up to 30 mile per hour wind gusts there when early Wednesday and then conditions will continue to be around 20 miles per hour and lighter heading into Wednesday evening. So right now we have a stationary front that's going to lift north as a warm front providing two Two more days. Everybody listen, two more days of warm and humid weather. Spotty showers possible along and behind the front. Less as, uh, uh, rain activity as we head into the afternoon and evening. And then the cold front is going to be moving through with stronger storms along the Red River Valley Tuesday morning. And then as we head into Tuesday afternoon, that severe risk is going to be the Arklatex region up into Arkansas. Not as much rain expected on the south end of this front. So you can see South Texas, we look fairly dry. But as the front does move through, it interacts with our Gulf moisture. We may see a few spotty showers Wednesday morning is going to be our best bet for rain. So that's what we're looking at with the cold front moving through on our Lex cam right now. We're muggy. We are just feeling the warmth 70 degrees. Wind is out the east at eight miles per hour. So we do have that onshore flow. Your sunrise coming up at 711 isolated showers possible mostly through the morning and mostly along the coast will make our high to around near 80 degrees by 4 p.m. Another rather warm day out here. You'll see along the coast temperatures in the 70s, 80s further inland. Winds will be on the south southeast 5 to 15 miles per hour heading into the night closer to 15 for most, especially along the coast lows back around 70. So we've been under this area of high pressure, but the change is going to come through in the upper levels of the atmosphere and it looks like we're going to stay with this upper level low pattern for quite some time, even possibly up until Christmas or average high there on Christmas 68 degrees. So that's still kind of warm, but we have a decent chance of having temperatures below that 68 degrees by Christmas. We will be around 68 there on Thursday. Temperatures falling even into the weekend as we keep seeing reinforcing blasts of cold air with that upper level low hanging out to our north. Calmer winds by Friday, lots of sunshine Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, but colder air there behind the cold front Tuesday night.